Welcome back to more of Today on 2 and like we said, Jacef is our guest for today and he is part of a charity group like he said, but it is a really kind of interesting charity. It's, it's a different charity. Group yeah, than, so than what most people would think of. So why don't you tell us about it? Okay, so uh, the group that I'm a part of, uh, we're called TSG and what it stands for, at least stood for in the past, was the Speed Gamers and, okay. and it's, it's, it's an interesting type of thing because uh, the thing that we do that we're you know recognized for is mm -hmm. that we throughout the year play video games for charity. Okay. Now that's a, I know that's a that's a, a very odd type yeah, of it's thing a to, uh, to to just bring out there. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean it's uh, I if you think of the concept of like a of, of a telethon like you see mm -hmm. on TV where you'll have entertainment and then um, in between the entertainment or the acts and stuff like that you'll have people trying to raise money and you can call in right. um, and pledge money to whatever charity or or organization or whatever um, that the telephone is raising money for okay. and that's a really the best way that I can think of to describe what we do what we do is we pick like a series of games or a genre of games and um, a couple times in the year we'll get together in uh, Texas Arlington Texas mm -hmm. and we will stream uh, these games online and then while people are playing these games we'll also have people um, that will be commentating talking to like an audience or a oh, chat okay. and stuff like that mm -hmm. and uh, we have a donation widget on our website for whatever charity it is that we're working with for that particular event okay. and um, people can donate usually through PayPal but there are a couple other methods occasionally um, to whatever charity it is that we're raising money for. Oh, okay. So can you give us some examples of charities that you've... Yeah, uh, there are actually, let's see, um, I counted it up the other day and now I can't even remember, I think 33 charities that we've raised wow. money for uh, through our history. What it had, um, the whole story behind it is um, in 2008 there was mm -hmm. a guy in the Dallas-Fort Worth area named Britt LaRiviere and he and his friends, they were all in high school at the time, he and his friends were just going to get together for a weekend as high school boys, I guess, do. <laughs> and they were going to play video games all weekend. They wanted okay. to play through a series of games. Okay. And um, 2008, that was right when the whole online streaming thing was really getting started. Mm -hmm. um, the startup companies like Ustream and Justin.tv were, they had just really gone online and people had started streaming their lives and, you know, uh, things like that. Okay. And, um, so they got together for this weekend, and Britt, for whatever reason, what, I guess most people probably wouldn't think about this, were just <laughs> like, well, if we're going to do this anyway, why don't we stream it online and let other people watch? And his friends were like, okay. well, okay, that's, a, that's not a bad idea. Okay, I and guess because uh, everybody likes having an audience when they play video yeah, games. Yeah. Is that a thing? No, I guess. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that, but, uh, you know. Okay. And then... Uh, a bit a little more weird um, after they decided that he got to thinking more and he was like well if we're gonna stream this online why don't we try to raise money for for charity while we're doing it so okay. I guess that's a thing that people can do but um, so that was in 2008 in March of 2008 um, mm -hmm. he, they held their first event that they did the first marathons what we call them mm -hmm. and uh, that was really how the whole thing was born um, that first event in March 2008 was for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital okay. they got in touch with that organization and um, we're just like, hey, we're going to do this. We're going to put this online. Can we raise money for you? St. Jude's mm -hmm. was like, yeah. So they. Uh, I feel like they probably wouldn't turn that down. <laughs> Most charities <laughs> don't turn down free money. Uh, uh, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, St. Jude's was really, really uh, uh, accepting of what they were going to do. So okay. at the end of the marathon, um, they raised a little over $1,000 for in that 72 hours with wow. nobody knowing, you know, this being a brand mm -hmm. new thing, nobody really knowing anything about it uh, for St. Jude's. So it was really, really cool. Um, cool thing to be a part of and that was in 2008 I became a part of the group um, sort of staggered I first found out about them in 2010 uh, okay. I just happened to watch uh, an event that they were doing on the internet I thought hey this was cool these mm -hmm. friends are together having fun and they're raising money for charity right. while they're doing it so uh, I started watching the things that they did and then in 2011 I was invited to join the marketing team to help promote uh, mm -hmm. the events and things like oh, that okay. and then uh, starting in 2012 I've been physically attending uh, the events that they hold, hold in Texas and then I'm a part of the staff and help plan everything and stuff now too. So okay, so it's how many stuff. members are in this group and what do you have to do to like um, be invited or how does it's that It's really an invitation process. There are sort of like two levels of it. Um, we have what we call our community, the TSG community, which mm -hmm. anybody can be a part of. It's the people that watch us, the people mm -hmm. that donate to us, promote us and things like that. And we have like a forum on our website um, 
I think right now we have about 12,000 active members, which isn't mm -hmm. at all uh, representative of the, the size of the audience that we have right. because there are so many people that will just watch our events and, and donate or talk to us or interact with us outside of that. Okay. But then as far as the core group, the, the ones that actually physically attend these events and, and help out with them and things like that. Um, it's grown over time. started out, I think there were five or six in 2008. Now, um, last summer we had our most attended event and I think throughout the week there were about 33 different people that oh, were, wow. and it's from all over, you know, not just America, but uh, around the world. We have mm -hmm. some, some people from Canada, Australia, um, uh -huh. the UK that will travel in and have been invited. And, I mean, it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. We have, you know, make a, make a whole lot of friends that you wouldn't have had right. uh, outside of that. But I've got some slides that sort of like okay. go through um, everything that we do. Okay. So uh, the first one up here, yeah, this was from the very first event that we held or they held, I wasn't a part at the time, <laughs> but uh, it was uh, the Legend of Zelda series and it was that 72 hour one in March 2008 and in the 72 hours with nobody knowing about it, they raised uh, $1,090 for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and the picture is of a few, I think there were a couple more that weren't in there, but a few of the people that actually uh, started the group and got okay. everything going. Then on the next slide, sort of walks through the first year of, uh, of the Speed Gamers of TSG. Uh, there were eight events held. It was actually the year that most, the most events in a single year were held by the group. But um, of the eight events, five of them were for charity and three of them were just either for fun or to raise awareness for something. Okay. And um, in, in total in 2008, over five events, uh, we were at, they raised a little over $15,600 for wow. various charities. And uh, the ones we used that year were like St. Jude, um, Act Today, which is an autism care and treatment today, mm -hmm. um, and then a couple of others. And then this one sort of walks through everything um, that we've done. And the thing to point out is that each year we've decreased, for, for the most part, decreased the number of events that we held. So like in 2008, we raised $15,000 over the course of eight events. In 2009, uh, we raised $109,000 over the course of seven events. Okay. Um, 2010, we only held um, six, so down another one, and um, raised almost 108. So the average per event has sort of, for the most part, been increasing, okay. uh, even if the grand total um, doesn't increase, you know, mm -hmm. a as a whole. But uh, since 2008, we've raised uh, $622,107 approximately wow. for about 33 different charities. So it's a lot of stuff, but uh, it's a lot of fun too. On the next slide, uh, yeah, here are, I'm probably missing a couple, but it's a list of uh, well, large In a list portion. of 33, you know. Yeah, you're you're going <laughs> to miss you're some. You're going to miss a couple. Um, but yeah, we've, uh, St. Jude, the ones we've uh, done the most for probably, I would say, are St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, um, Act Today, which is the Autism Care and Treatment Today charity, um, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Mercy Corps, uh, Heifer International, Direct Relief International. We just held one last year that raised uh, 122000 uh, in in one event for them. So, you know, we try to help out each year, like... We try to do charities that we have used in the past and then mm -hmm. also some new ones so we can sort of spread everything around right. and uh, give some more exposure to other groups. But I uh, tried to boil down everything to like some, some notable moments through our history and I was, there are a lot of them, but uh, <laughs> the five big ones that uh, I came up with were uh, in 2009 we had our first week long. Most of our events are either are 72 hours long, but um, each year we do do one that is a full week, 168 hours long. And in 2009, the second year of the group, we held a first week long that raised $50,000 for, um, for Act Today. And uh, that's really the one that got us recognized, that put us on the map, because mm -hmm. um, uh, not just like websites and blogs and stuff like that were, were hearing about us and talking about us, but mm -hmm. local news affiliates in Dallas okay. Fort Worth were talking to us. We had people go <laughs> do an interview on, I think it was the ABC affiliate uh, down mm -hmm. in Dallas, but I could be wrong about that. But um, it sort of put us on the map, and really that event's the one that kick-started um, all these different groups that now do similar things to raise money for charity. Okay. Um, and then in 2010, we had our longest marathon at 189 hours. Wow. Um, it was 168, full week, and then uh, we, they did a different thing in that one to where if a certain 
amount of money was raised in a set period of time, then we'd extend it by like three hours. Oh. So they ended up extending it by 21 hours to 189. Wow. And uh, it helped out though because it raised a uh, little over $57,000 for, for ACT Today. Uh, later that summer in 2010, it was a really good summer. Uh, yeah. In 2010, uh, they raised, we raised $20,000 through a contest uh, through Chase Bank. They, they did a community giving type of thing where uh, organizations and groups could go in and try to get votes toward their cause. And then mm -hmm. at the end of the contest, um, I think it was the top five, um, each received a set total. So we didn't get number one uh, in that one, but we did get in the, in the top vote receivers, I guess, okay. to uh, get that extra $20,000. So in total, that summer, we raised about $77,000 for, for that autism charity. Then in 2012, um, it was our most successful um, event with an asterisk um, mm -hmm. that I'll talk about in a second. Okay. But uh, we raised uh, just under $60,000. And that was actually the first one that I attended in person. So I guess I can take all the credit for, okay. uh, yes. for, for all that money. Congratulations, <laughs> Jason, for raising all that money for charity. And then in 2014, last year, um, we partnered with a group called Humble, which is big in um, another huge charity group. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything like what we do, but they raise money for charity in other ways but we partnered with them uh, for Direct Relief International and we ended up raising $122,000 um, so I guess that's technically the most successful that we've ever had mm -hmm. but we did it in partnership so alone 60000 right. with a partner uh, 122 Okay. but uh, twitch.tv is the service that we are partners with uh, for our streaming mm -hmm. and um, last year they had a huge year um, for money raised for different charities uh, from from groups that they're that are partnered with them streaming and uh, so they did a, a year in review a couple uh, about a month ago and uh, we were mentioned on that got a little recognition for that for uh, that 122 that we raised for direct relief international so on the next slide uh, yeah so in 24 like I said we found it as the speed gamers last year we rebranded ourselves because um, our goals became less about speed and getting through things quickly as mm -hmm. it did about raising money for the charity. Right. So over to, we had sort of been unofficially just referring to ourselves as TSG for a while, but uh, last year we just went all in and um, uh, rebranded our websites, our social media, and everything. And now we are 100% focused on doing what it takes to raise money for charity rather mm -hmm. than just getting through things quickly. There are other groups that do that now, and so we just sort of do what we can to, to raise the money. Right. But uh, these are all pictures from the first event that I attended. And one of the things that we do uh, during our events is we'll have stunts and things to, um, to try to encourage donations. So we'll set like donation goals. Mm -hmm. And um, if we reach the goals, then uh, we'll do some kind of crazy stunt to, to okay. reward people for reaching that. Like, so, like what? Like uh, we do, uh, it, it, it depends. Some of us say that we'll do anything for charity. I like to say I'll do almost anything because okay. there's some yes. things that I will not do. Because you have to have a you have to have a qualifier. You have, <laughs> you have to have yeah. Uh, but uh, like we'll do we'll eat like you know really spicy or hot foods. We'll do like uh, physical damage. This one time, a guy pepper sprayed himself in the face, and that's never happened again. Okay. But people really liked it, and it raised a lot of money for charity. So uh, huh. you know, wh okay. whatever you want to do. Well, for I the mean, most I guess as long like, as it's for a good cause. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, you can you can say that. And like it was for the most it. part, well, it's it's a lot more tame than that. Like we'll do uh, you know sing songs, like mm -hmm. people will request songs, or um, I'm really have fun silly stringing my friends in the face so yeah, I'm well, silly string and, yeah just go crazy on them <laughs> but uh, this no. sort of shows an evolution of the group uh, in the top corner um, it was the ones that started everything and then things have grown and then in the bottom corner that was from last summer and that was about 20 25 of the 30 ish people that were uh, there for the event so uh, our next event is going to be in July and it's going to be another week long and not sure what charity we're raising for you. Yeah, there are a couple in, in contention at the moment, but okay. we'll probably figure that out pretty soon. But we are online, uh, of course, uh, on our website at tsg.tv. <laughs> we're also on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So if anybody's interested okay. in finding out more about what we do, then they can check us out. Well. And so that's the whole group that I'm involved in. And then a couple of weeks ago, really briefly, uh, we went to this uh, gaming and technology convention in San Antonio mm -hmm. called PAX South. Uh, that was really all about um, the progression of technology over the past year or so and like what's gonna be coming up and stuff. So that's the group of us. Uh, I think there were 13 of us of the staff 
that were able to get together okay. and go to that. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, it was just a, uh, what PAX is, is there are panels of, that you can go to and hear people like keynote speakers and stuff like that talk about things. There's also a show floor where you can go and um, just demo some things or see, mm -hmm. see what's going on. There are also a lot of people that sell merchandise and things like that that you can check out. So okay. it was just a whole lot of fun. And then it was also, one more slide. Yeah, this was also my first time in San Antonio. So San Antonio is a beautiful city. It was city. such a beautiful city. I really enjoyed it. And so I spent a lot of time sightseeing, uh, not just spending time with the nerds, right. but uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of time just walking around the city and seeing what it had to offer. Okay, and like, I see you went to the Alamo. I did go to the Alamo. I'd always wanted to see that, so that mm -hmm. was really cool to be able to see that. And it's then different than you expect it to it's be. It's a lot smaller than I expected mm -hmm. it to be. But uh, I guess that's really just the mission part of the Alamo that is that is all that's left. Right. But um, I mean, inside of it, it was still, and then there was a garden outside that was mm -hmm. just really well kept and really good experience. And then my favorite part of San Antonio uh, in the two pictures on the right is the Riverwalk area, yes. which if anybody's not been to San Antonio, uh, it's sort of like, I don't know how to describe it other than an outdoor mall. There are like mm -hmm. shops and along, restaurants along this along river. This, this river. And, and, uh, and it's you can just you eat on the river, you can just sightsee. Uh, they have boat tours that go down the entire river. Mm -hmm. But uh, we ate at, I think, three different restaurants over over the weekend uh, at, on the river walk, mm -hmm. and they're all very good. So Yeah, there's great food in San Antonio. Such good food. So I was very, uh, very glad to be able to get out of San Antonio for the first time. I've been, I go to Texas all the time, but I've never been to that, but like a, mm -hmm. a south Texas, I guess. Right. So right. it was really cool to be able to see how different things are, things are in, from in into different such regions. a huge state. Mm -hmm. and. Um, but it was just a really, really beautiful city and had a good time uh, some of my friends and then got, got some ideas to raise some more money for charity. So. Well, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's about. That's, that's what I do. So. Well, well, thank you so much for sharing. Now we all know when you leave, now we know what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, that, that's where I'm going. So okay. I'm, not, I'm not just like, you know, leaving and, you know, well, I am having fun with my friends, but yes. uh, not just like goofing off. I'm actually, okay. for the most part, trying to trying to do a good thing. So. Okay. Well, I, I know I learned a lot because I never knew what you did when you were gone. So, so now we know. So thank you so much for sharing. No problem. Glad to do it. And we'll be back uh, with more of Today on 2 right after this.